So here's one more topic about sorting within Excel lists. Now I've still got the exercise file open. It's called Excel 102 Exercises. It's a .xlsx document, but I'm on a different tab. I'm on the Buyers 2015 worksheet. You can see down at the bottom of the screen. Now I'm gonna give you a quick little tip here. In order to find, really make it more accessible for you, um, the little arrows on the left-hand side of your screen, if you right-click, right mouse button click on one of those arrows, you'll get a list of your sheets. There we go. And I'll just find Buyers 2015, I'll hit OK, and it'll take me right there. So there's a quick little tip for you as you navigate around within larger workbooks, workbooks that contain many different worksheets. All right, so I'm on this Buyers 2015 worksheet. I have another list. It's a simple list, just a few columns there, month, year, cost, items, and buyer, and a few records. Now, the very first column in this list, I've got months. It's a date value, right? Sort of, it's a, it's a date value, it's, it's a monthly value, but it's not a full date, it's just got the month in there. Now, I wanna sort this list by the month. So, what do I do? I click into the month column, doesn't matter where, I go up to my data tab, top of my screen, I go to sort and filter, and I'm gonna do an ascending sort. But think about this for a moment. How's it gonna sort that data? Right, how's it gonna do it? This is an ascending sort, A to Z. Well, it's gonna sort it alphabetically, right? I'm gonna try it out. I'll go ahead and hit the A to Z button. Boop. I've now sorted my list, really simple, right? Click in the column, hit your sort button, you're done. Oh wait, it sorted it alphabetically. April, August, F, J, J, A, J, U, J, U, L, J, U, N, and so on. It's an alphabetical sort. Now, that's great, and it's super simple to do, but that's not what I want. I want to sort that column chronologically by its actual month value. So take a look. This is how we can perform a custom sort based on month. Watch this. So first step. I click into my list, doesn't matter where. The reason why is I'm now gonna to go to my data tab. I'm gonna to go to the big sort button. This opens up that custom sort window that we talked about in the previous lecture. Now, I wanna sort by month, correct? Bingo. I wanna sort on the values, meaning the values that are in that month column, but I don't wanna sort A to Z. I don't wanna do an alphabetical sort. So I'm gonna change my order. You do have the reverse, descending order, Z to A, but I also have custom list. I'm gonna go ahead and hit select that option. This opens up my custom list window where default, any copy of Excel comes with four custom lists. Days of the week, both abbreviated and spelled out, and the same for months. You have to select the appropriate one. So my months are spelled out. So I'll select the last one there. I'm gonna hit okay. I am now have a new order here of the month chronological order. January, February, March, April, and so on. And if I click on the drop down, you've got the reverse, the descending order as well. So I'll, I'll keep an ascending, I'll hit okay. And I've now sorted a custom sort, sorted this list chronologically by the month. Look at that. January, February, March, April, May, June, and so on. Click into your list, doesn't matter where, up to your data tab, into sort, make sure you're sorting on the correct column, but then you change your order to a custom list. And you get two by default, days of the week and months, two of the more common custom ways to sort a list. So try this out, open up the exercise file, jump over to the worksheet called Buyers 2015 and perform a custom list sort by month.